Welcome to Body Bags. I'm your Friday reviewer, Chris, from Chris B Movies. You know my name is Chris, and you know I love B Movies. Now, I'm going to be reviewing a film that I don't own a physical copy of, but it was a film I watched on Shudder, and Shudder is so worth it. If you haven't subscribed to Shudder yet, $6.99 a month, any horror film that you want, any style of horror film that you want, any genre of horror film that you want, it's right there for the taking. Hell, you never have to collect the film. But we as collectors, well, most of us who collect, we still love to collect films. Film slipcovers, awesome artwork, you know what I mean. But Blood Glacier, let's get to Blood Glacier. It's a film from 2013 from Marvin Crane, and he did a show on ABC's of Death Part 2, if you haven't seen that one. It's so choice. You should definitely check it out. And this is an Austrian film. Yeah, like I say, from 2013. So we're talking about Janek. He's the main guy here. He's a big furry guy, got a big old beard, long hair, and he has a tight connection to his dog, Tinny, as anybody would. Well, he, he brings him on this big expedition in the Austrian Alps, where it's very cold down there, and he brings a bunch of scientists with him who he does not get along with because he's more of an introvert than anything. And they're studying global warming, which is a thing, guys. Come on, you know this. So when you're out in a place where there's no other people around, bad things are gonna happen. We're gonna get further into that. But first of all, Janek, he has been on this expedition three times, which is totally unheard of, because most times scientists and technicians go there once, they get the material, they come back, and they do their studies back wherever in Austria they come from. But right here's a perfectly isolated area, and again, studying global warming, but they find some mysterious stuff going on. As they look in the glaciers, one of the glaciers is just like all red. So you know that they're going to do a little expedition in that little cavern to, to, to see what's going on. So the scientists go in with Janek. And as they're looking in, they find out some mutated animals in there, mutated dog. Um... That's kind of like a hybrid of two animals. And they're like, what the hell? They're all excited because they think they found this big breakthrough. I mean, what's causing all this? So they're trying to figure all this out. But basically, any animal that goes in there, woodland creature, whatever, that eats anything. So if a dog eats a rat, this mutant's going to pop out of the dog's stomach and become half dog, half rat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really interesting. So you see wolf bats. You see... Um, birds who, who are just freaking mutated. Um, you see half dog, half human hybrids. I mean, and they're all vicious. Well, and again, this is a spoiler. Poor Tinny kind of falls prey to all that, which is a really sad scene because Janek is just so broken. Now, with everything going on, there's a minister that's going to come over and basically oversee everything. You know, head scientists overseeing the whole operation, make sure everything's running well. Make sure they have gotten some breakthroughs and Janek's ex-girlfriend is coming too. Oh yeah, who he still has the hearts for. But seeing everything that's going on and seeing that some of these animals are now starting to attack the scientists, he's telling her, don't come down. It's very dangerous over here. We got some crazy stuff going on around here. But, you know, she's like, screw that. I'm coming anyway. I made it halfway here. I'm going to make it the whole way. So, <laughs> will they make it all the way? <laughs> will Janek reform with his ex-girlfriend, get married, have beautiful babies? Will Tindy be okay? You have to find out by watching Blood Glacier. This movie is so much fun. The creatures had me rolling on the floor. It's a film that's really taking itself seriously. You know, everybody's serious in the film. And then these creatures come in and attack these hybrid creatures. And it's just... Laugh out loud, hilarious, so cheesy are the, uh, are the creature effects. They are so cheesy, but so much fun. Um, this is a movie where you just chill, <laughs> relax, and um, it's a film that never overwhelcomes its day. I mean, it is just solid throughout and never got dull, never got boring at all. Um, it's subtitled, so you got to read your film, but it's a beautiful film. Camera work's beautiful. The glaciers look beautiful. The snow looks beautiful. Um, everything is represented very well in this film. All the acting's great, fantastic. Um, there was one scene, with the, now I'm talking about Janek and these scientists are in an isolated area. No one's around. This random female is running around being chased by a bird. And all of a sudden she's running, and a bird's coming after her. And then the bird attacks her and like bites her and <laughs> rips at her. And they, they come and they save her. They protect her. But, you know, she's 
foreshadowing of what's to come, she ain't gonna make it. <laughs> but it's like, where did this girl come from? This is an isolated area. There should be nobody around other than scientists and the minister is gonna come on and oversee the whole operation. So what's this random girl doing just running? <laughs> I drop to the floor laughing. It's just so random. And I'm not just gonna sit there and like, this is so stupid, this doesn't make any sense. No, I'm gonna laugh my butt off because it's like, random girl gets attacked by this friggin' bird. <laughs> Out of nowhere. <laughs> so all types of creatures are attacking these scientists. They're attacking. Some make it, some don't. But definitely check this film out. It is a blast. And if you got Shudder, you don't have to buy a copy of this. You can just watch it on Shudder. Is it worth buying a copy? Yes, definitely buy a copy. It's one you just sit back and enjoy. And um, definitely, you know, don't be lazy. You can read your films. But Blood Glacier from 1 to 10. 10 being the best. 1 being the worst cheese ever. I give it a solid 8. Solely for the creature effects, because they had me roaring and laughing. And every time they attacked somebody, it was just hilarious. Um, there are some people, you know, you didn't want to see die and go, but it, you couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> Such a fun film. Definitely check out Blood Glacier. And I'll check you out next week with something, of course, fun here. Body Bags, Crispy Movies. Yeah, we're going to have a blast. Oh, yeah. Check out all the other reviewers. They do a bang-up job. And they all have different introspectives. They're all types of different genres of films. You know, some, like, prefer Italian films. Some prefer Giallo. And it's, like, it's, it's just awesome to see, man. It's just see their love for films. And, of course, my love for films because I love movies. And I like any type of movie. Oh, yeah. Criterion to horror to SOV horror. Yeah. Bring it all to me. I'm ready to tackle it. Ugh. And, uh, first and foremost... Don't forget to check out those late night horror movies. Read up on your latest Fright Mags. But don't forget to tune in to another episode of the show we call Body Bags, or I'm going to send a red glacier your way. <laughs>